the solution to this example let's get it into Power Query so what we're going to do here is we want to find anything that contains fax to em now we could have done it with the filter but I want to use a formula so I'm going to go to add columns we're going to create a conditional column give it a name so let's just call it fax or not we're going to say please look at that first column you'll notice that when it's a text column it allows us to do equals does not equal and there's a whole bunch of them and then there's an option here called contains so let's do contains let's type what it contains if it finds it then I want to see the word fax if not I don't want to see anything and null so let's check did this work you'll notice we've got nulls everywhere even here so this is very important to realize and remember Power Query does not like the way we typed in fax to em because remember I've typed it with upper and lower case but here it's all uppercase so keep that in mind Power Query is case specific so this now must be typed like that all uppercase let's see if it works so now you've got a situation where the word fax appears wherever it's faxed to em at this stage then you could clean it up get rid of the nulls etc but you've now got a formula which tells you which rows interest you to finish it I'm gonna say I'm only interested now in the ones that have fax in it so there we've got those there we could now split it and if you look you'll see it's pretty much there's a whole bunch of spaces here we could perhaps do the last couple of spaces or probably easiest just split the column and I'm going to use delimiter space I'm happy with that I'm going to say okay a lot of this we don't need because keep in mind what we're mostly interested in is the date and this looks like it's got the date correct and it's even gone and put the time in so at this stage we can clean up the columns and then work on from there.